Are you ready to start painting? Yay! Hello, my talented artists. If you like this content, be sure to subscribe. In this artwork, we are using what we learned from making a traditional Piet Mondrian painting. And we are letting ourselves be creative and do new things, add new ideas. So today you get to pick two primary colors. And of course, with, as with Piet Mondrian's painting, you can just take a primary color and paint a shape. Be sure to cover all the white and smooth all the blobs, remembering that it's fine to paint on the tape because we will be peeling it up. But here's another cool thing you can do. You can start with a primary color and then you can add just a tiny bit of another primary color. I'm gonna add blue and now I'm gonna mix it. I just add the teensiest, teensiest bit because I'm going to blend and I'm going to go from yellow to blue in one shape. Once I have mixed and mixed and mixed, I'm gonna paint that new color right next to and a little tiny bit over my old color. And now I'm going to do it again. I'm gonna add a little bit more blue to my yellow and mix and mix and mix. And once it's thoroughly mixed, I'm going to paint it onto my paper right next to and a little bit over my old color. I'm not gonna paint at the top there. I don't want it to be all one color. I want it to change. If I paint over it, I'll change it to this color. Now, if I want, I could take this color and I could paint another shape that color, but I think it's so close to yellow, I don't wanna do that yet. I'm gonna add a little bit more and mix and mix and mix. You see what's happening? It's becoming green. What do you think the next thing I'm going to do after I paint this color on, how am I going to make it a darker green? That's right, I'm gonna add more blue. And to make it darker green, I need to add more and more blue. So I'm gonna add a big scoop. And mix and mix and mix. Be sure to mix your paint thoroughly before you paint on your paper. This new green is a lot darker, but I can blend between those two colors. I wanna show you how you can use brush stroke to blend. So you're gonna get all the paint from your paintbrush onto your paper, I'm still leaving room. And then you're just gonna do a circle motion like that on that line between those two colors and you're gonna see it'll blend nicely. Pick up your paint brushes and do that little blending motion in the air. Little circles, blend, blend, blend. Nice work, friends. Now I'm gonna scoop up quite a bit more blue and mix it in so my green gets even darker. And darken it, I'm pretty sure that's getting dark. I don't think we're gonna get all the way to blue. I think it's just gonna go from yellow to green because I'm going slow. I'm gonna use that same method to blend because that looks, I can see a stripe there and I don't wanna see a stripe. Do you guys remember what I'm supposed to do first? My paintbrush still has paint on it. That's right, I really need to finish getting all the paint out. And if that's pretty much the last color I have, that's fine. So the paintbrush has very little paint on it now. And what's the next step? How do I smooth out that line between those two shades of green? That's right, I do a little circle motion and it blends. Now, if I want it to be a little dark, I could take a little bit of the blue and blend it. And what's a good brush stroke for blending? Yes, a circle motion and I can just don't, I'm not gonna add any more 
paint, I'm just gonna blend it up. Just remember that you need a brush with very little paint on it to blend two colors together. And now it's time to do the blending brush dance. Everybody stand up with your brush in your hand. Let's blend dance. Now remember the two important things to make it really look finished is to cover the white spots and smooth out the blobs. And I can paint this whole side. I want to leave two shapes because I definitely want to have some red in my painting. So remember next week you're going to pick two different primary colors. All right. Great. Now, when I have left what I want for next week, I can take this to the drying rack, put it in, and then I'm going to wash my paintbrush. To get all of the paint out of your brush, hold your brush with one hand and rub the hairs and the silver part with the other hand. Make sure all the color is out. Then turn off the water and put your brush hair side up in the brush cup. Remember, we're a team, so if you see any messy brushes or anything else, just neaten them. Thank you.